Hi, Satara here. I am the founder of the Naughty Ball Method, which is a massage technique that involves myofascial release and stretching and strengthening. And I've also been teaching yoga for a little over 20 years now. So I'm gonna show you a really simple, easy sequence to do if your low back, if you're experiencing pain in your low back, or if that's a place of vulnerability for you. So we're gonna do a little bit of uh, massaging with the balls as well as stretching. So let's start on our back. Simply bending the knees, place the feet onto the floor. And then you'll take your hands right into the front of the hip, so in the lowest part of your belly, and simply breathe there. And as you breathe into this, think about this band all the way around your lower back. So not just in the low back, but all the way forward, like your lower belly is expanding with air. And then once you've done that for a moment and you feel that lower back starting to relax to the floor, right? Make sure you're not pushing the back down. Just let it relax onto the ground. You'll pick up a leg, interlace fingers onto the leg and press the leg away from you. So your hands have the hamstrings. The hands are pulling toward you, but the leg is pressing away just enough. Again, just enough to sort of feel an action there happening in the leg and you're gonna stay with that idea of breathing into your back. And then we'll do the opposite movement with this same leg. So instead of feeling like you have to push the leg away, we're now gonna put our hands right on top of the leg and you're gonna think about pressing away with your arms, but the leg is gonna resist and press toward you. So hands are pressing the leg away, but the leg is pressing into the hands and then release that down, take a breath. Once again, finding that space into the lower belly to breathe. And then we'll do the other side too. So pick up a leg and grab onto the hamstrings and gently press away. So as if the leg has a job to do, right? Leg wants to press away and the arms want to gently move the leg toward you, but the leg is resisting, of course. And then you'll do the hands onto the leg for that opposing sensation, right? So you're gonna press away with the strength of the arms, but the knee is gonna to try to press its way toward you. And then once you've done that, go ahead and release it down. And once again, take a deep breath. You can heel toe your feet apart from one another and do a very gentle windshield wiper of the legs. So the knees going gently side to side feeling the low back starting to release there. And then while we're down, I'll show you a couple of the massage techniques with the small ball. So this one is my uh, smaller ball from the Naughty Method. And you wanna make sure it's nice and squishy, right? Even if you don't do, use this ball, make sure that you're using a ball that's not hard. And then you'll place this ball in between the shoulder blades on the upper back there and just let the head drop. Now, if this is too much, if this is too much sensation for you, then you can always take a blanket or some kind of a tea towel, right? And put it over the ball so that there's a little bit of padding between you and the ball. So this would go in between the shoulder blades on the upper back there. And I'm just gonna lay over it for a moment, right? Just a, enough time to let the lower back, again, find breath into the lower back. And then when you take the ball out of the way, you're just gonna settle and you'll feel a whole difference in the whole length of the spine actually from that movement. Notice the difference in your breathing. And now we'll take that same small ball and we're gonna roll the side of the hip. So to do that, you'll lift your hips just enough to put the ball underneath you and then let the knee flop open. And once you've done that, start to zigzag or oscillate over a spot that you're feeling it. And you wanna stay into the very side of the hip, right? So you wanna feel like you're kinda of leaning across. And if this is stressful for your low back for whatever reason, I'll show you the, um, you can do the same thing sitting up. So I'll show you that in a moment. So just a little bit of a zigzag there. You'll do that for about 90 seconds. And then what we'll do is we'll take that ball out of the way and once again, settle the low back and breathe. 
and I'll show you from that seated position. Otherwise, if you liked it laying down, then you can just stay with that, okay? So if you were to do this seated, you would just place the ball underneath the side of your hip, so the glutes, right, the, your butt muscles, and then you'll take the knee up, out, and you'll just use sort of the strength of your hands to, the strength of your arms, I should say, to kind of oscillate you onto these spots. Zigzag motions, left and right. When you feel a spot that feels good for you, you can stay there, let the thigh relax onto the floor and keep breathing. And then once you've rolled out both sides, about 90 seconds each, so both sets of glutes here, you'll come on over to this hands and knees position. And we'll start what's called cat-cow pose. So with this first movement, we're gonna round and extend the spine. And then find a neutral spine. So just a little bit of a curve in your low back, not rounded like a Halloween cat, just a nice neutral curve. And we'll pick up the right foot, place it into the crook of the left ankle, press the feet against each other. And as you do that, look up and over your left shoulder. So you're looking back for that foot that's crossed there. See if you can find it with your line of vision. And then what you're doing here is you're stretching the spot you just rolled, right? That, that side of the glute, the hip, and the stretch will make its way all the way up to your low back. It should only feel nice. And you could always sway your hips a little bit here like you're wagging your tail. And then come through center, do a cat-cow again. So extend and round the spine. And then go to the other side. So pick up the left foot, place it into the crook of the right ankle, Press the feet against each other strongly. And then look over your right shoulder, see if you can find that foot back there in your line of vision. And again, you can do a subtle sway of the hips to breathe into the side of the low back. And then once again, back through center and round and extend. Now staying with that idea of stretching the side of the spine, we're gonna keep the right hand where it is Take the left hand up over and across, and then lower onto the right elbow, deep side body stretch. Head and neck are supported. And then come on up. Once again, that cat-cow shape, round and extend the spine. Keeping left hand where it is, let's do the other side. Right hand up, over, and across. Lower down. Find a nice, easy breath. Feeling that reach and that stretch, not just in your low back, but maybe up into the shoulder, into the upper back, maybe into the rib cage. When you can breathe deeply into the back of the lungs, into the back of the ribs, it helps your low back settle. And then we'll return once again to this hands and knees position. And again, this cat-cow shape. Last little bit to move your spine in all six directions, nice and safely for you. We'll keep the right hand where it is and place your left elbow right underneath your left shoulder. So the left forearm is onto the floor and it's perpendicular to the line of my spine. And then you're just gonna look up and over the shoulder Take a breath into that. And then come up, take a breath. And we'll do the other side too. So place the right elbow down. Left hand is still supporting you. You'll look over your left shoulder for a rotation, just an easy rotation. And then back through center and again, Round and extend, last time for this. And then we'll settle for, into what's called puppy pose. Stretch your arms straight, let the chest drop down. If this is stressful for the shoulders, you can make it more of like a child's pose where your seat is dropping back toward your heels. Either way, see if you can breathe into the lower back. Imagine it puffing.
And then if you'd like to stretch everything out, we'll take a downward facing dog. Tuck your toes, straighten the legs, hips up and back. If that's too stressful for your low back, just keep your feet onto the, uh, keep your knees onto the floor and think about extending the spine. So get long in your spine there. Either way, think about breathing into the back of the lungs. And then lower down completely, taking a comfortable seat. And we'll draw hands together at heart center and offer your body a message of gratitude. Oftentimes when the body's not performing the way we want it to or the way we think it should, it seems to us as an obstacle preventing us from achieving our goal. But really, your mind and your body want the same thing. They want to move freely, pain-free, easy. So take a moment to allow the mind to send the body a message of gratitude. And bow to the beauty and divinity within you. Namaste. Thank you for joining me.